We finally got all the metal down. We have grass. Actually got up there pretty good. Now it's just the final touch, putting on the latch. Because we're cheap and didn't buy screen topsoil. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or for those that are new here. Hello, my name is Alicia. So today is episode three of my front yard transformation series. It's definitely been a long time coming, but you wait until you see what we've done with the place now. If you have been following and you've seen episode one and two, you would have remembered it last being just completely mud. Oh man. But that has all changed. I'll give you the quickest sneak peek of what it looks like now. So basically in today's video we are covering up all the mud. So our grass is growing, we've put a big metal area down and a big exciting part was putting up Logan's Playhouse. So you have to keep watching to the end to see what his playhouse looks like. It looks absolutely amazing. It's definitely would have been my dream playhouse when I was younger. Yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated with this renovation project. I am also going to be doing an updated property tour really soon because I just noticed the last one I did was a whole year ago and our property looks entirely different now. We've moved the whole driveway which you would have seen in episode one and yeah just the whole front yard is just looking completely different you won't even recognize it so I will definitely be doing that video as well so definitely stay tuned for that one right so we ended up getting the rest of those gristalina planted yesterday and today is a much nicer sunny day so me and Cleo are chilling on the deck while Jaden does some more leveling with the digger Jaden does all this leveling then we can finally rake all the ground and get our lawn seed down which is super exciting and didn't buy screen topsoil. Now I have to walk across the whole lawn, pick up every single rock. <laughs> With his trolley. <laughs> With Logan's trolley, eh? <laughs> but you'll thank yourself later when you mow the lawns and you won't hit all the rocks. Time to put the seed down. Woohoo! Well, no, this was Logan because uh, she's pretty thick. Oh, more holidays. Yep, some more. Put some over by the tree. What about over there by the tree? Yep, big throw. There, yeah, Logan. Ready, set, woo! It looks so level. Looks so good. And she's sprouting. It actually only took six days. So six days and the grass is already looking like this. Except there's a big patch here with like not much. And then there's lots of super green over there. So hopefully very soon the whole lot turns green. Hello. So you've seen the grass and there is a little bit more exciting news. We picked up our gates yesterday. See behind me. Look how cool they are. So we're going to use these on our driveway. We've got those old wooden gates here at the moment, but they are really like worn and bowed and ugly. So we picked up these gates. If you live in New Zealand, definitely recommend these guys. They're called Farm Force wooden gates. We purchased them off Trade Me. They're only 245 each, but we chose the cool double brace design. Yeah, and they're made super, super well. So I'm really, really excited to get these gates installed. So I will definitely show you what they look like once Jaden puts them up for me. It's been about a month and you can see behind me, we have grass. It actually grew a lot better than I thought. There is still quite a lot of patches in it. So I think we've still got to chuck down some more seed and fill in those patches over time. Um, what we're doing today is Jaden's actually gonna dig out this other side. It's still dirt. Um, and we keep having all the dirt blow into the house and we've got like Logan's birthday coming up and Christmas functions and stuff So we really just want to get metal down just to get something on top of that dirt We've drawn this big line right across where the retaining walls are gonna go do a retaining wall along here And then do a bit of a square where the fire pits going 
and then retain along the front here. We really want that section over there to be like dead flat for when we put the pergola and pavers down. So I think paving on a slope is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to make this side kind of like a raised garden, just put natives and evergreens in and then down there would be like a big paved area. They're hopping in. There you go. Dad's got his co-driver. Oh, there's Logan's seat. Good on you. He knows exactly where he sits. Say hi, everybody. tip truck once again because obviously we're going to be left over with tons of dirt so it makes it so handy that we've got this truck that we can take all the dirt away oh yeah I also forgot to tell you Jaden actually started to put Logan's playground in place so I'll take you over there here it is so he's just roughly put it in place just figuring out like where it's gonna go but how cool is it it's so cool seeing it all together since it's been like literally stacked in piles for months. So I think the plan is we're just going to box it up, spray all this like grass and weeds, put some good quality weed mat down and then chuck like that. You can get like playground chip, like bark kind of thing and I think that'll be good enough and it'll definitely tidy up this whole area because at the moment it's quite like muddy and got weeds everywhere so yeah those are the two projects we are currently on. So yeah, watch this space, but I still can't get over how good it looks having a lawn. That is a transformation in itself. Hey Logan, look at all the grass. Look how cool this is going to be. So now you can kind of see where the actual retaining walls are going to go. And now we've got this big kind of square cut out. So this is where the fire pit's going to sit. Now he's just putting in an edging just to separate where the grass will be from like the paved metal area. Hey, playing with dad's drill. And mum helps. Okay, mum helps. Mum will do the strain. <laughs> Despite the rain today, we are still gonna put all this metal down and hopefully the truck doesn't get stuck. And then when you look at that tiny pile, you think, hmm, how many piles am I going to need to fill up this whole entire area? And both layer get 40. And then we'll put crusted dust or sand at the top. And how many loads do you reckon we're going to need? Five? Six. Six? So you can see behind me that we finally got all the metal down. We ended up using about six truckloads, I think it was. It kind of looks a little bit like a car park at the moment, but hey, it's going to stop all that dirt going inside, so I'm really happy about that. Lots to do still on the list, but it's looking so much better than before. Jaden's leveling out a bit of the ground today. There was like a big dip that went under these gates. Oh yeah, we put these gates in. That's another new addition. So yeah, he's just leveling all this ground out. And sometimes in winter, the water used to like pool over there, so that just makes it easier having the dirt higher. And he's also done over here, put some more topsoil up on this hill. And then he also cleared next to the pool because that was starting to look like real messy. So we're just gonna rake all this out and then finish grass seeding all of this hill. Today Jaden is digging the holes for Logan's new playhouse so I realize I haven't shown you his playhouse yet we picked it up off Trade Me. We got it for a fraction of the price that you'd buy one new for. So we're almost finished painting it we've just got a few areas like up there I couldn't quite reach and we've got to do the balustrading and this part here. Jaden's also got to add some trims on the edges, put the perspex back on, and the doors sitting over there. Super, super cool. It's actually quite big as well, and inside used to be pink and purple, 
Now it is going to be a boys playhouse so we decided to paint it white inside. It also brightens it up a lot. What are you doing miss? And we've been putting in some carpet tiles down there. We've got to do the rest but we're just going to wait until we get this playground up on stilts. And I will show you really shortly what it looks like with this playhouse up on those stilts. It's going to look amazing. The stilts, why do I call it stilts? I don't even know. The platform we're going to be building it on is going to be used from old school power poles. So if you've seen a few of my videos or you've kind of been following us on Instagram, you'll know that our deck over there has got those big power poles. So it just gives it a bit of a personal touch, just like everything, you know. So yeah, it's going to look amazing and stay tuned to see what it looks like. <laughs> What are you doing? What? And me being super pregnant, 34 weeks now, I am just hanging out on this chair. Which is actually shit, because I would love to be helping Jaden, but I'm not allowed to bend much or do much of anything really. So this is just my posse, whilst Jaden's out there doing the playhouse. But soon, I'll be back in action, very, very soon, um, to follow on with these exciting projects. So we decided to just go with quick crete because it's just way easier than mixing concrete and metal with the concrete mixer and we've only got four holes to do so we thought we'd just do it that way. So we're just tipping in the concrete, mix and then adding in the water. No noise, Mum. Hello everybody. Today I am building the platform for Logan's Playhouse. We've had a bit of a discussion on the height and we've come to the agreement we don't want it too high like I wanted. So I'm just chucking these beams up and then we'll be trying to figure out how to get this playhouse up. So we both decided on 1.5 metres tall. Jaden wanted it like 1.8 or something but then he made a good point we wouldn't be able to grab the kids up high because of all this balustrading. But I didn't want it too low that we couldn't go underneath it while the kids are in the sandpit. So hopefully we made, we made the right choice. James just grabbed his digger. He was going to hand dig it but then he decided, eh, it's just as quick to, actually not just as quick, way quicker to drive the digger in here. He's just digging at level just so when we put the sand in and box the sandpit it's more level than it is now. So it's just slightly higher that end. So he doesn't need to dig it too much but way quicker doing it this way than doing it with the old spade. Perks of having a digger, right? Mm. What? What's wrong with you? Hey? Mm. Hey, don't you like it? So handy having a digger on a lifestyle block. It comes in so handy for all these little jobs. So if you have been following along this whole renovation, you know that there's several parts of this renovation including moving the driveway, then obviously the front lawn, the playground area, the fencing, everything like that. He's starting to dig 
out here just leveling it a bit because we've got to carry on the rest of that post and rail fence there's where he got up to with the post and rail and then we kind of just left this bit for a bit because we weren't exactly sure what we're doing but he's going to put in a wooden gate there and then post and rail to there and then we've got to finish the front of our sheep and calf yards Also, a little side note is someone put all of these Miggy, Miggy, Manny Agapanthus up on Facebook Marketplace and they live just down the road. So I managed to score them all. So Jaden ended up digging them all out. Wait, am I showing you? Yes. Check them all out. So you know in my last video we were planning the bank with Agapanthus. Well, the bank's kind of been dealing with lots of weeds and everything and there wasn't quite enough. So now I've got all of these to plant so I'm just gonna obviously when I'm not pregnant anymore which is soon I'm gonna cut all these up into different like clumps and plant these out all over the bank so the bank should be done not too far from now but it should be looking great for spring first gate it looks so much better that it's all dug nice and even putting these gudgeons on because timber gates don't come with them that way when you put them on you put them on either side depending on what way your gate is swinging <laughs> all right now let's get back to the playhouse because that is the exciting part at the moment tractors here the forks hopefully can get it up on the platform got the setup <laughs> hopefully this works got number one driver <laughs> Didn't get to record it because I was the middle woman doing the communication, but it actually got up there pretty good. Look how cool it looks! It ended up balancing on the strop rather than the forks because the forks are quite small on the tractor. So then Jaden put his digger bucket on the other side and they're like balancing it on strops. That's all good. She's up. We'll just have to manhandle it and just check for damage. Made a bit of a noise, but I think it was just the sticks. But it's up there. She's up. Sort of went alright. Yeah, strengthen it up a little bit because it does look a bit dodge. Dodgy, I'll show them the joist. We didn't have too many damages. Oh. There's a damage right here. Is there? Yep. Oh. <laughs> no, I think there's a little bit there. Not too bad though. There's little dings in that bottom bit, which I have to straighten up. Pretty right, good it. though. Good. So Jane's just gonna brace it all, make it stronger, put the front on. Oh, there's a bit fell off. <laughs> and then we've still got to put the door on and all the finishing touches. And then of course, we've got to build the sand pit because that's probably... Logan's favourite part is a sand pit, not even the Blimmin' Playhouse. But yes, back to the fence, it's coming along. Jaden's put that gate on now and he's put the first post in. Then he's just going to put some rails on next to the yard. And I think that's what we'll get up to in this video. And then in the next one, we will look forward to putting all the fronts on the cattle yard. Still can't believe that this is our driveway now, like compared to the start. If you've been following all these three episodes, then you'll remember the start, what the driveway looked like. So it's definitely coming along. It's getting more exciting the further along this project we get. Just a couple more rails to go. Now it's just the final touch, putting on the latch. And Jaden made a stopper down there just because this gate starts to bow sometimes just by the way it's made. So he's made, yeah, the stop down there and he's hooking it on now, which kind of keeps it straight. And here's the end result. Looks way better than before. And I can't wait to do the front of the sheep yards. I'm really happy we got that job ticked off the list. 
Well, when I say we, you know that really means Jaden. <laughs> Morning everyone, beautiful day here today. So today Jaden's just doing a few more finishing touches on the playground with his handy dandy helper Logan. Hi. You're helping. You're helping Dad. With the pajamas and gumboots on. <laughs> wow, are you making it stronger? Yes. Good. Yeah. Good boy. Hello, Mum. Hello up there. So what they were doing is just adding on a few beams at the front and also just improving underneath. Just adding in a few more of these joists just to make the playground a lot stronger. Because who knows how many kids we're going to have up there. Also for now we've put in this ladder. So we were contemplating whether we wanted to do a staircase or a ladder just because if you see behind me, the ladder comes out onto like where the rocks are. I don't know. I just think, you know how kids be a bit crazy sometimes? One could like slip, fall down the stairs and then fall onto the gravel. And this entire gravel area will be pavers. So the idea of kids slipping on concrete or pavers is not really ideal. What we've come up with, we reckon when we build the sand pit underneath, we were originally just going to do it like the size underneath the playhouse but I think we're going to bring it out a little bit maybe one and a half to two meters out the front as well just so if they do slip down that ladder or I don't know jump off or do crazy kid things that they will have a soft landing of sand anyways I think I'm going to wrap up this video here I hope you guys enjoyed seeing today's video watching all that mud disappear and I absolutely cannot believe that we have grass now this whole entire front yard just looks completely different like people come over and can't even remember what it used to look like just because it looks like it's always been like this or it's it's like it's meant to be like this you know what I mean anyways definitely stay tuned for the next episode not entirely sure when that will be due to being super pregnant right now um he's gonna be coming very very soon which is gonna be a big change around here but we will definitely get back into the swing of things very very soon so definitely stay tuned for the next episode to see what we come up with next